Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, welcome. We're talking about aesthetics versus strength, bodybuilding versus powerlifting, building muscle and hypertrophy versus getting strong as. YouTube doesn't let me say that. Welcome to the video. Be sure to subscribe. We got some big announcements, big news on the way. Turn on that notification, it'll help your boys so much. We're gonna dive into the video, but 3sb.co for all your clothing needs. Grab the cap, the comfiest, most high quality gym apparel you have ever tried. Let's dive in and talk about how to train for bodybuilding and how to train for powerlifting. Hypertrophy, one of the main goals and the main factors in building muscle is mechanical tension. And the best way to have mechanical tension on a muscle is choosing a proper exercise that you can feel and target the muscle, adding stimulus to the exact muscle you're trying to grow. Two is proximity to failure. Um, and a lot of the data shows right now that we have to be one, two, three reps, maybe four reps close to failure, true failure, um, for to grab the optimal response. The number one thing that I think most people are lacking and that we should focus on in the gym is choosing an exercise that you can feel and really target the muscle you want and getting as close to failure as you can with that. Uh, on top of that, progressive overload is a thing for all lifting and everything in life is about progressive overload. How can we do a little bit more this time than I did last time? Repeated process of getting close to failure, training a muscle group multiple times a week. You know, typically within 48 hours, you're probably ready to go on the next exercise and handling multiple exercises within a body part. There is charts out there that have a suggested, you know, if we're talking about larger muscle groups, anywhere from 10 to 20 working sets a week. Uh, smaller muscle groups, you might be able to sneak in a couple more, but in that similar range. And again, the closer to fail you are, the heavier weights you're training, the harder the exercise, probably the less sets that we could do. Doing super heavy squats, for example, or mega leg presses, pendulum squats, to absolute failure with heavy loads, it'll probably shrink that range back down to the 10 ish range for the week and again that's for a body part not per exercise so if you're squatting twice a week and you do two or three really hard sets then you're doing a leg extension two or three really hard sets we're already at that 10 range okay, now we're talking rep range uh, a lot of the data and evidence shows that we can have a variety of rep ranges a lot of it depends on the exercise itself what's optimal but you can build muscle doing sets of three all the way up to 20 and even 30 reps now i don't suggest that because doing a set of 30 on something heavy like a squat will take us out with DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, as well as almost turn into cardiovascular exercise, and we won't be able to train as hard as we want in upcoming days and weeks. So for our heavier movements, our compounds, sets of eight to five is probably plenty. You get a lot of work in, you get a lot of uh, intensity, you can build your strength over time and still build that muscle as long as you're getting close to failure. Biggest difference with strength training is one, the specificity. Strength is a skill, so we have to learn and practice the skill. Hypothetically, as a power lifter, you could only do three lifts and become the best power lifter of all time. All you need to do is squat, bench, and dead, build the skill there, the muscle builds itself because you're doing the exercise necessary. And then beyond that, it's managing fatigue. So there needs to be times when we push the intensity to handle heavier loads, right? Because a lot of the strength sports have to do with one, two, three, five rep maxes. The other key factor is the muscular coordination and the power output only come from handling those heavier loads. The fatigue though, is what we need to balance. Handling too heavy of loads or too much workload as a power lifter over time will kind of drain that battery. And the systemic fatigue, the localized fatigue, being tired from your top to bottom, your CNS and the muscle you're building will slow your progress and you will get weaker for the time being. So managing that fatigue in waves and different methodologies with variations will allow you to build strength over time. But again, the keys are practice, you gotta practice that skill, moving heavy weights as fast and powerful as you can to really build that muscular coordination and the power output is what the key factors are in those sports. It almost has, not that it has nothing to do with building muscle because there's a time and place to build, have variations, accessories to build muscle, but a bigger muscle just has the potential to fire harder and stronger it doesn't automatically make you stronger. So building muscle matters in, in powerlifting, but building that skill matters most. Obviously just building muscle, the, what you move doesn't really matter because I talked about those rep ranges in bodybuilding, sets of five to 30 can build muscle. So the amount of weight you move is basically irrelevant. So again, they're not so independent building muscle and building strength, but the key factors of growth in each may be a little different when you dig into the depths of the programming. I think for the majority of us, and I don't want to speak for you all, but comment below, let me know what your actual goals are. If you're a bodybuilder, a powerlifter, or a mix in between, 
is a lot of us want to move some weight around, lift something heavy because it feels good. I love the barbell movements. I've been an athlete my whole life, but I also want to look good. I like building muscle. I like being healthy. I like getting a little cardio in, as well as getting a pump and having juicy, juicy delts. So you saw my workout today, it's kind of a mix of both. I handled something like a compound movement in the beginning, heavy set to three to four on the bench press. Close to failure, but not. I'm handling over 80% for sure, probably in the 85, 90% range. Then I move over here, some presses, some flies, some triceps, some shoulders. All of those are sets of six to 10, and I'm pushing them really close to failure, if not beyond with a couple partial of mile reps at the end. So. A mix of both, I do this workout about twice a week, some kind of push, although the exercises within them vary. I have an A workout and a B workout. If I was powerlifting, I may be benching more times a week because again, that skill is number one. I may bench three, four times a week, but currently building muscle is slightly takes the edge on the spectrum of where my goals are at. Plus I'm on the cut. So we got another 10 pounds to lose. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. New videos weekly. And again, a very big announcement coming soon. So please turn on notifications. Join our Discord if you guys wanna hang out or if you have any fitness questions, I'm in there all day, every day. Goodcompanydiscord.com, 3sb.co for all your clothing needs. Be a part of something big in yourself, man. We over me, Sound the mic, I'm out.